2010 has been a tremendous year for games on all platforms and for games of all shapes and sizes. This was a year for polished, evolved, and well-executed sequels. It was also the year of plucky underdogs coming from out of nowhere and shocking everyone by being better than anyone could have imagined. But while there's room for 10 finalists, a very exclusive list that very few games can join each year, there's even less room at the top. And the nominees for GameSpot's 2010 Game of the Year are... Battlefield Bad Company 2. Oh, I don't know, it was cool, but... Bayonetta. <laughs> Halo Reach. Heavy Rain. <laughs> Mass Effect 2. There we go. Try not to get Red Dead trouble. Redemption. I won't be around to save you this. Come on. You are a true American hero. Yeah, right. Starcraft II, Wings of Liberty. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Meat Boy. Vanquish. What the hell is that thing? And the winner is Red Dead Redemption. Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend Amnesia. Oh. 2010 has been an astonishingly good year for games on all platforms and in all genres. And all ten of our finalists are truly outstanding games that you should definitely try out but only one game gets the coveted Game of the Year award. And this year, the winner is none other than Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption, man. GameSpot's Game of the Year is none other than Red Dead Redemption, a game that I played all the way to completion, took a lot longer to finish than I probably should have because there's just so much you can do in that game, but from start to finish, it's just an amazing package. This is a messy one. As the name implies, Red Dead Redemption is about redemption. And it's not just in reference to the fact that the game's predecessor, Red Dead Revolver, wasn't very good and that developer Rockstar did its best to make a better sequel. The game is also a story of redemption for John Marston, the intriguing protagonist who will stop at absolutely nothing to be reunited with his family, even if he has to tangle with the most dangerous characters this side of the Sierra Madre. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? John Marston is a fantastic character. Well, when you talk about the characters in Red Dead Redemption, you, you know, you obviously have to start with John Marston, the central hero in the game. And I think the reason why he's such a believable character is that he's just somebody that everybody can identify with. About Williams. He brings, as a character, a sense of realness and a sense of urgency and a much more sympathetic motive to trying to reform his life while also reverting back into his old habits. The story of his family being taken from him and you know, him doing all these bad deeds, you know, is kind of the last turn. You know, trying to get his family back makes him a much more sympathetic and, and strong-willed character and definitely why what makes him, you know, so appealing. Narcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. 
So one of the reasons the Red Dead Redemption is our game of the year is because it has a very big cast of characters and there's not a weak one amongst them. And uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. The sense that you get as the characters you meet and the people you talk to, which I found to be a real departure from other Rockstar games in the past is, other Rockstar game characters kind of sense on some level that they're in on the same joke and they know that their world is a joke, but the people in Red Dead feel like their world is real and they believe that it's real. Look here, this patty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses, lost clear on the map. Red Dead Redemption's story is great because, I mean, not, not only is it really long, but it, ha it has a lot of highs and lows. Uh, as John Marsden, you know, you have a lot of kind of, you'll feel like you have a lot of mini triumphs and stuff along the way and maybe, you know, maybe when you get to go to a new territory that feels like a, a big triumph, but then when you get there you realize there's just a whole bunch of new challenges waiting for you. Come on, here we go! If I could describe Red Dead Redemption in one word, it would be sprawling, because this game is just huge. Enormous. Just massive. Epic. What starts off as a seemingly straightforward bounty hunter quest into the Old West takes you down into Mexico, where you get caught up in the sweep of revolution, and then back into America, where you're really like in the nitty-gritty sort of gnarly government expansion, the taming of the Wild West. I mean, this game has historical scope, and you live it all and are an integral part of it all as John Marston. That's very sweet of you. You can take the reins. Now, it's easy just to focus on the game's story as its greatest strength, just because the plot is so good and so expertly told. But this story wouldn't be nearly as good without the game's memorable cast of characters. Uh-huh. Authentic Wild West atmosphere, and brilliant musical score. And then, of course, there's also the game's multiplayer. One of the best things about Red Dead Redemption is just the, the kind of atmosphere throughout. It feels a lot like a movie, like, you know, the, like those old westerns that you used to watch. Riding through the landscape, you know, as John Marston on horseback is an incredible experience because it's so varied and diverse. It's hard to talk about the atmosphere in Red Dead Redemption because it's just the culmination of so many different things. You've got the visuals of the American Old West. The game looks beautiful and it captures all these different types of scenery so well. Then at the same time, you know, you've got the music as well, the great ambient music. You've got the threat of just anything can happen while you're out there, whether it's an animal attack or whether you're ambushed by bandits and it all just sort of adds together into this, this amazing atmosphere that just, it's, it's just so much fun to spend time in that world. It's alive, and it's not just alive with people, it's alive with creatures, and that's something new and novel that really has never been achieved to this scope. The music in Red Dead is great because a lot of the times you don't even realize it's actually playing because it's, most of the time you're wandering through the wild west and it's just sort of this ambient music that'll occasionally just sort of like sort of rise and fade depending on where you are and what's going on and you don't even notice it. It just becomes part of the soundscape of the game. The best part about it is that it just fits in so seamlessly and it just, it doesn't overwhelm you but it works really well. One of the really great things about, and most surprising things about Red Dead Redemption was that in addition to this you know, huge, epic, single-player story, it also had a legitimately great multiplayer component. You could just get a posse together, and you'd go around and just clear out all these big hideouts, and it really did feel like, it feels like you're in a posse in a movie or something, you know, like hunting down a bad guy. And it's just so much fun to just go from one city to the next, cause trouble with civilians, or even, you know, shoot your buddy off his horse, or even shoot your buddy's horse if you're kind of a jerk like I am. And it's just the, the potential for all these different events to happen, and just for you guys to just roam around and create your own fun, I think is why the, uh, the free roaming multiplayer in Red Dead works so well. And then on top of that, you've got a bunch of competitive modes 
Uh, and one of the greatest things about those is that they all start with these Mexican standoffs. The, uh, the way that competitive multiplayer kicks off is unforgettable. The Mexican standoff, everyone's standing around, you recognize your buddy over there, or you know, you see the person who was killing you a lot the last match and you're just, you, you get the itchy trigger finger, you get that anticipation and it's right there. It's really cool. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Draw your Playing Red Dead Redemption was the most fun I had with a video game in all of 2010. As someone who grew up watching like Western movies with my dad and that kind of thing, I was definitely drawn to the game. Of course, I'm also a huge fan of Grand Theft Auto 4, so like it was almost just like a perfect blend for me. It's like it's like okay, I get like most of the good bits of GTA 4, plus this Wild Western theme that I'm a really big fan of, and it's just like a match made in heaven for me. Red Dead Redemption just makes such a great game of the year because it's a game you go and you feel transported. You travel to this place, and then you also feel transformed. You become John Marston. Red Dead Redemption is a game that didn't need to try very hard to convince me to like it because I came into that game waiting for a really good Western game for a really, really, really long time. I didn't really want to believe it was as good as I thought it could have been. And really, it ended up delivering on every single hope that I could have had for it. And then some, you know, the, from the story it told, the character that you portrayed in it, the characters that you met through the game, um, the visuals, the atmosphere, and the gameplay all just came together in a really, really outstanding package. I think at the end of the day, Red Dead is a great game for just dozens and dozens of reasons, and I could sit here and list off every single one of those, but ultimately it is a game where you can go out into the woods and hunt bears with just a knife, and that is awesome. Any of these 10 finalists would have made a fine winner and every single one of them definitely deserves a place in your game library. But no other game combined so many incredible elements to offer such a memorable experience the way this one did. And so, Red Dead Redemption is GameSpot's Game of the Year for 2010.